and a Chinese Communist Party whose stated goal is to defeat the United States at every turn. Yet for too long, in the name of tolerance, we've let these dangerous governments infiltrate our country. Arkansas will tolerate them no longer. All right, guys, so we got to talk about the boot that China got in Arkansas by Sarah Huckabee. If you don't know Sarah Huckabee, she's a former press secretary for Donald Trump. Back in the days when Jay Trump was in office, she gave the boots to Genta Seeds, one of the world's largest developers and producers of seeds for farmers. Um, it's China, guys. Let's be real. They're probably spying. They're probably doing something mischievous. Good riddance. There's no reason why a CCP, a Communist Chinese Party, needs to have land in America. Let's get into this. The Genta Seeds is one of the world's largest developers and producers of seeds for farmers, commercial growers, retailers, and small seeds company. The company is headquartered in Chicago, USA, and focused on providing farmers with more vigorous, stronger, resistant plants to combat disease, droughts, and pests. The Genta Seeds offers a wide range of products in corn, sorbet, soy, alfalfa, and vegetable seeds. The company's R&D process revolves around the farmer to ensure that they always innovate with a clear path to fulfill their needs of proven seed products and traits, technologies they need. So that's what they basically do or say they do. Who knows what else they're doing for the CCB for Xi Jinping. The Arkansas Times, Arkansas enacts trade war with China. Just kidding. It's 160 acres of farmland in Craighead County. Governor Sarah Sanders, Attorney General Tim Griffin, and State Architectural Secretary Wes Ward today announced that the state officials are giving the boot to the Chinese state-owned company that owns around 160 acres of land in Craighead County and fining the company with a civil penalty of $280,000 for failure to timely report a foreign ownership. Tanner's opened the announcement strangely by tying the move to the recent violent enactment by Hamas militants in Israel. Not sure what's going on there. Quote, one thing is clear, she said. America's enemies are on the march. They are cunning. They are brutal. And they will not stop at nothing to harm America and our allies. That's true. That is true. What better way to have actual ownership in land in a foreign state that you don't like? Why would China need land in America? For growing seeds? Seeds? I doubt it. But we know who our enemies are, she continued and listed the usual suspects, with China, of course, getting special mention. A new Cold War that can't come soon enough for the neocon set. What does this have to do with the land in Craighead County? I don't know. For too long in this name of tolerance, we've let these dangerous countries infiltrate our country, Sanders said Arkansas will no longer tolerate them. Previously, her administration said that we need to gut the state's freedom of information act because China would somehow use the government's transparency to spy on Arkansas or something. So maybe take these claims with a grain of homegrown salt. The acreage in Northeast Arkansas is owned by Northrup King Seed Co., a subsidiary of Sagenta Seeds LLC. Sagenta is itself owned by China, by China National Chemical Company, Kim China, a state-owned enterprise according to Arkansas officials. The land is used primarily for seed research. Griffin is ordering Kim China to divest the land within two years or the state will pursue an enforcement action in court. Additionally, the owner failed to file in a timely manner documents required by the Act of 1046 of 2021 with the Arkansas Secretary of Agriculture. I'm also imposing a civil penalty of $280,000. Griffin said in a statement which represents 25% of the report fair market value of the property, the maximum civil penalty allowed by law. The company has 30 days to pay the fine, Griffin said. Sanders boasted that it is a bit of grandstanding was the first of its kind in the country. So there you go. The maneuver employs a demagogic law passed by this year by Legislature Act 636, which bans certain foreign entities deemed enemies from owning Arkansas agriculture lands. Quote, Caesar Technology Center said Chinese state-owned corporations filter that technology back to their homeland, still in American research, and telling our enemies how to target American farms. True, all that is completely 100%. No denial on that. They come here, they get information, they get intellectual property, and what do they do? They take it straight back to China and they copy and push it out as their own. That's theft. Sanders added, this isn't about where you're from, this is about where your loyalties lie. Griffin also turned the Mike Grant thing, but he just doesn't have the juice, poor guy. Protectionism and China bashing are go-to populist moves. Unless you think this production was meant to distract from Podium Gate, Sanders said to the reporter who asked questions about the 19,000 lecture. While we are focused on things that actually impact our state and impact Arkansans, the media wants to focus on things that frankly don't. 
Sanders also elaborated on the podium's supposed special features. It is a special height to accommodate female speakers. It has vague audio related bells and whistles that don't sound very special and it includes a number of other things that she declined to name. So good on your Arkansas for get ready in this uh, CCB sponsored company. Why would any other foreign company, especially our enemy, want to own land in USA? If they own land in USA, it's for nefarious reasons, obviously. So I'm glad that some people are actually doing the job they were elected for and actually serving the people that they were voted in by. It's good. Good on you, Sarah Huckabee. Good job there. Breaking Arkansas orders Chinese seed producing companies against to sell U.S. farmlands immediately in Arkansas and bans all state contracts with the CCP. Tim Pool. Whoa. Breaking Arkansas becomes the first state in the nation to force a Chinese state-owned company to give up its American land. Uh, we got to watch this, guys. It is great to be here this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. It's good to be here with our Attorney General, Secretary Ward, President Hester, and so many of our great legislators from around the state. I have to say this past week has been pretty eye-opening. I, along with every Arkansan, have watched as the events unfolding in Israel we have watched that in horror and sadness. The details are almost too terrible to describe, especially for someone like me who has had the privilege of visiting the Holy Land and building lifelong friendships with a number of Israelis. But one thing is clear, America's enemies are on the march. They are cunning, they are brutal, and they will stop at nothing to harm America and our allies. We know who our enemies are, not just Hamas and Hezbollah, but a regime in Iran that chants death to America, an authoritarian Russia, and a Chinese Communist Party whose stated goal is to defeat the United States at every turn. Yet for too long, in the name of tolerance, we've let these dangerous governments infiltrate our country. Arkansas will tolerate them no longer. Today, we are becoming the first state in the country to take an action like the one that we are announcing right now. At the beginning of my term, my administration worked with our partners in the legislature to get hostile foreign entities out of Arkansas. I was proud to sign Act 636, sponsored by Senator Johnson and Representative Vaught, banning foreign parties from nine enemy countries from owning agricultural land in Arkansas. I'm announcing that Syngenta, a Chinese state-owned agrochemical company, must give up its land holdings in Arkansas. Syngenta owns 160 acres in northeast Arkansas, which it uses primarily for seed research. The company that owns Syngenta, Kim China, is also on the Department of Defense's list of Chinese military companies posing a clear threat to our state. Seeds are technology. Chinese state-owned corporations filter that technology back to their homeland, stealing American research and telling our enemies how to target American farms. That is a clear threat to our national security and to our great farmers, especially since the Chinese government enacted a law in 2017 requiring Chinese citizens abroad to collaborate with their country's security officials on intelligence work with no questions asked. This isn't about where you're from. We welcome Chinese Americans, Russian Americans, and anyone else who's given up foreign oppression for American freedom. This is about where your loyalties lie. We simply cannot trust those who pledge allegiance to a hostile foreign power. That's why I signed Act 525, sponsored by Representative McKenzie and Senator Boyd, to ban Chinese and Russian-made drones. And it's why I signed Act 758, sponsored by Representative McElindon and Senator Stubblefield, banning public contracts with the CCP. We will make sure that every company operating in Arkansas is a friend to Arkansas and good to hardworking Arkansans. Secretary Ward has already notified Syngenta about this decision. If they refuse to sell, our Attorney General can move forward with legal proceedings and force them to get out of our state. Arkansas will always protect our farmers and our national security interest. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I wish all of our state officials that we elect to actually do what we want them to do. Now, this is a prime example of someone who's doing their damn job. Hats off to you, Sarah. We don't need, like I said, we don't need China in our 
country buying land, owning land for what reasons? That would be the same as them having. They might as well have a military base here. What do we know what they're doing? We don't know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. And she might have known. That's why they're no longer there. Thankfully, they're not there. Like, comment, subscribe to Buzz Review. See you on the next one.